What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon X and Y Y5 battle. Today I'm bringing you kind of a OU UU battle against uh Shoot, I think this guy's name is like Tyler or something like that. I just I just battled him like three times. He's, he's like the the founder of the LBA. He's like he he's just like a he's an okay battler. I'm totally kidding. This this guy is like probably one of the best battlers in the LBA. It's there's him, Bird and uh, Greel, and they're just, they're all freaking the best battles in the LBA, so I always try to battle them as much as I possibly can, because they always teach me shit that I need to know for myself. So, as you can see, I am uh, rocking the Mega Beedrill, again, like I try to do almost always, because Mega Beedrill is pretty freaking awesome. I try to either run him or Mega, um, uh, Diancy, so, who really knows. But as you can see, he is bringing the, um, Galvantula, Tentacruel, Mew, Mega uh, Altaria, an Umbreon and a Talonflame. Uh, first things first, I'm a realist, and then the second thing I notice for like the first, like, the one thing that pops off the page at me is the Umbreon. Because once I, my Mega Beedrill is down, I have really nothing for the Umbreon. Because Sylveon can hit it kind of hard, but it's not like it can really do a whole, whole lot. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a predicament that I have to watch out for whenever I'm going up against this thing. Now, Tyler, he does not, he does not like stall. I went into this battle knowing that he hates stall, and I, I tried to keep that in mind whenever I saw Umbreon, so I was like, there has to be something fishy about this Umbreon set that I don't really get. So I'm going to lead off with my Stingerella, just because I like to lead off with it, go for a protect, and then I get all my stats, and I don't have to worry about it later on in the battle. It just saves me a lot of time later on, and, a, and it can also do a whole lot of damage later on. He's going to just straight off go for the, uh, the, um, the Brave Bird, in case he like, ex in case I expect him to like switch out or something like that. Right there, I should have stayed in, and I should have actually gone for the Pursuit, because he is in fact going for the U-Turn, and I could have lived a U-Turn, and Pursuit would have done a piss amount of damage, it would have been amazing. But instead, I go into my Ferrothorn Thorn expecting another Brave Bird or Flare Blitz, so I would get a decent amount of damage off on him with uh, Iron Barbs. I didn't have Rocky Helmet this battle, but I do now, so that was kind of a... Kind of a nice little twist. So now he's going to go into the Galvantula. I was like, uh, he's either going to set up Sticky Web or go for the Bolt Switch. Can't really decide which. I kind of just wanted to stay in, because no matter what, it's not like this thing could have done over half to me, so I just, uh, I just chilled. Just got it. I just stayed in here, and I was like, what's Gucci, man? I'm just going to chill. And, uh, he's going to send in his Talonflame again, because Talonflame is a really, really good overused Pokemon that I, I think has gotten to be more annoying than good but it just no matter what it'll it'll always be a really big threat that i always need to watch out for no matter what and good thing he brought it in right there because right now his talent flame would be at 50 percent no matter what he's gonna go for the flare blitz automatically kill me because i'm steel grass no matter what i'm gonna die to that and uh he's gonna get the iron barbs recoil i wish i had rocky helmet i really freaking wish i had rocky helmet because now uh with the recoil damage he's at 50 percent so, there was a couple things that I should have done right there. He's going for the U-turn. I should have expected him to go for the U-turn or the Roost and go for an automatic Earthquake. Just because it just, it would have made the most sense. I actually, here we go. I actually did expect him to go for the Roost and I Earthquake so that way I could kill. But instead he goes right onto this Mew and I get the crit. I don't really know how much that mattered in the end. Uh, because in the end it doesn't really matter. No, um... In the end, it just, this Mew wasn't really the biggest threat to my team. It just, it just, it was kind of like a, a medium sized threat. So I go in my Sylveon. This is a really weird set of Sylveon that I run because most people don't expect it at all. Um, Sylveon, uh, Assault Vested, Max HP, Max Special Attack, Modest, hits like a freaking truck with Psy Shock, Shadow Ball, Hyper Voice, and Draining Kiss. It, it hits like a truck. I actually expected him to switch out here, and um, I went for the Psy Shock when I really shouldn't have. I really, 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 really shouldn't have. I kind of, I actually think I expected him to go into the Talent Flame. I think I expected him to go into the Talent Flame. Or no, the Tentacruel. That's what I expected, the Tentacruel for him to go out into. But instead, he goes for the Ice Beam, and right there, that kind of should tell him that I'm Assault Vested because I have all these weird moves that a normal Sylveon doesn't have. A normal Sylveon will have Wish, Toxic Protect, and uh, Hyper Voice. Second turn, I do end up going for the Shadow Ball. Kill that freaking Mew. Get it up out. I hate dealing with Mew. It just, 
I hate dealing with it, but it's not the biggest threat. He's gonna go for the Roost, which uh, I should have expected. Don't know why I didn't. I expected him to just go for the Brave Bird and kill me. So I went for the Hyper Voice, just being like, uh, this is modern nigga, YOLO. But didn't really happen. Go for the Hyper Voice. It does about, it does about 45%. I was kind of surprised. Now he's gonna go for the Brave Bird. And uh, I, I live it with 30 HP. That was really freaking surprising. I actually I actually expected him to switch out again and go into Tentacruel. I went for the Psy Shock. Didn't really matter. Still killed the Talon Flame, which uh, was kind of kind of a a, a, a uh, it was like uh, it was kind of a moment of relief for me. He's going for the Surf right here. Why he's running Surf over Scald, I do not know. I actually need to ask him why he's running Surf over Scald, because that, that's kind of weird. Um. I, I do send in my Starmie now because my Starmie does carry Rapid Spin. The only reason why I have Starmie is because I wanted two ways to remove entry hazards and two ways to set them up. So I have Ferrothorn to set them up and Donphan to set them up, and I have Starmie and Donphan to Rapid Spin them away. That's really what I went for. Um, go for the Rapid Spin, obviously. Sends in the Umbreon, and it, it does it, it does like it does like maybe six damage, so it wasn't really a huge deal. And uh, right here, he's gonna get the leftovers, go back up to full health, and there was no way in sweet bird jesus's name that i was going to stay in here on this freaking umbreon so i sent him my don fan he's going for the foul play and that does so much damage why does that do so much damage i will never understand i don't understand foul play period like i know it does more damage if like the stronger attack stat your opponent has but like what if your attack stat is like negative 33 like what the hell does that have to do with anything so uh, I do go for the earthquake. It does about twenty. It does about twenty percent. Twenty percent seems like a decent uh, estimation for that. And uh, my Don is going to get the leftovers. Then it's going to hurt by toxic, and it brings him back under about the exact same amount of HP before uh, leftovers. So he's going to go for the wish. Now, most this is where the weird set of Umbreon comes in. I do go for the knockoff to get rid of the leftovers. This is where the weird set of Umbreon comes in, because most people run Wish, Toxic, Protect, Foul Play, Snarl, um, uh, Heal Bell, they run things like that. So I was like, you know what, he's going to protect, no matter what. Come on, Beedrill, you got this. But instead, he goes for a Foul Play, and that's where the weird set comes in. He then messaged me on Skype and said, I never Wish, Toxic, Protect, it just, it's too stally. And I said, well, I should have known that, because you don't like stall, but I'm an idiot, so... My uh, Mega Beedrill did absolutely nothing and a half this battle. I was really upset about that. So now I'm going to go into my Chandelure. Don't know why. Because a foul play will uh, completely decimate my Chandelure. Uh, I am a Choice Scarf Modest, so maybe I could do a decent amount of damage if I just keep on racking up flamethrowers. And it just so happens that I do. I get the burn, and uh, the Synchronize does try to burn me, but it doesn't work. So uh, he then goes for the foul play. And that's not going to kill me because he's now burnt. So, that was really awesome. I got a way to get rid of the Umbreon without really uh, doing too much. If I had gone into... If I had left in my... Oh, excuse me. If I had left in my Donphan and then switched into... Uh, whatchamacallit, Chandelure later, it would have been a lot better. So now I was going to send in his Tentacruel. I realized I had no real reason of saving this thing anymore, so I kind of just left it in as it goes for the Sludge Wave. And uh, that's obviously going to kill Chandelure, because Chandelure does not have the best bulk of any Pokemon out there. So, Chandelure is going to go down. And after he killed my, um, after he killed my Mega Beedrill, I kind of didn't really see a need in uh, going on this battle anymore. I said, so do you just want to, uh, like, have me forfeit, because that's all I really need to do now. I did go for the Thunderbolt, and uh, it's not going to do as much as I wished it would. He's then going to go for the Sludge Wave, and uh, I was like, bye-bye, Starmie, but he lives on 18 HP. That was fantastic. Here. And uh, I go for the Thunderbolt, knocking out the Tentacruel, and now I'm at 5 HP after Life Orb. So, I was like, Starmie, you have one really good freaking hit left in you. Please make it worth it. Go for the Scald on this Galvantula. It does a piss ton of damage, and I get the burn. I was like, you know what, Starmie, just for that, you're awesome. I like you now, Starmie. I hated Starmie before, but now I'm starting to like it just because it did the, It did all that in one battle. Got rid of freaking hazards, killed the Tentacruel, almost killed the Galvantula. You're awesome. So now I'm going to go into my Dawn Fan just because it has a priority with Ice Shard, and there was really no need 
for me to just waste any other Pokemon. So I was like, you know what? Go ahead, Don Fan. You finish off this thing. And if I'm not mistaken, Don Fan is actually my last Pokemon, which is a little upsetting. It's a little upsetting. I'm not I'm a little upsetting. You say it is. And uh, now he has his Mega Altaria left. Right here, I was like, holy crap, I might actually win this because I forgot Fairy Dragon. So I was like, ah, oh, that loss of four times weakness to Ice Shard. So this isn't going to do as much as I wished. Ice Shard's going to hit him, and it's going to do about 40%. So, or uh, about, that's about 30%. So it's a four hit KO. Going to go for the return. Doesn't kill. Leftovers is going to bring me up a little bit. Then Toxic is going to take me back down to about three HP. 4 HP, I was freaking close. Go for another Ice Shard, I was like, maybe I can get a Super Crit and kill, but I don't even get that. And he's going to go for another return, killing my Don Fan. So, uh, very good game, Tyler. Thank you very much for the battle. I really did, uh, I really did enjoy it, actually. It gave me a chance to use some weird pokes that I don't really like using. But make sure that you guys follow him on Twitter. He is the LBA, uh, founder. So he's, he, uh, always has these awesome events going on and things like that. Um, if you guys could, leave a comment down below of Megas you would like me to use. Currently, I am in the process of making a team from Mega Altaria, and I I just can't really find anything I want to use with it, so I really need to think hard on this one. But aside from that, any new Megas, give me like a, like a, a set you want me to use, and maybe a Pokemon to go with it to get me started on the right track. If you could do that for me, I'd be really appreciative. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. If you did, please leave a like down below. And also, I hope that you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. Bye!